Hey Gemini, what's up gang? We're gonna go ahead and do a who's coming towards you in love, all right? I just felt like doing a love reading, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you're interested, stick around. If you are new to this channel with Gemini, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is Gemini channel, however, to be vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. If you are returning, Gemini, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself, both, right? I hope that you are just taking care of you, okay? Thank you guys for all the love and the support that y'all give, because you guys are awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who's coming towards you in love. Right, let's see, let's make sure this reading is gonna resonate for you first. Let's see what's going on currently in love, okay? Let's get a couple cards for what's currently happening. We have codependency coming out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So some of you are recognizing the codependent behavior within yourself or that you attract within other people, right? So you're working on that. You're learning to let go. Again, I didn't think this was something that you're currently involved in. I feel like you've separated yourself from this. Some of you could have separated yourself from an extremely needy person, or you could feel like you need to separate yourself. Go on. Or you could feel like you need to separate yourself from a really needy person, okay? Some of you guys might be feeling like that, all right? To call in your true soulmate, perhaps. I get this energy of like you've detached from the need to have anybody too. I'm getting like nine of pentacles energy with this uh, illustration here. It feels like you're on top of things. You're focused on your career. You're okay being alone, it looks like. Um, I feel like you've been focusing on your health, on your wealth. And so you really have focused on those um, codependent energies within yourself. Like you've noticed them and you've went you know, out of your way to really work on that and heal that, okay? Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, I feel like you're not here to rush it. <laughs> like, we're not here to rush the process here. However it happens is how it happens. It's safe for you to love. You know everything is gonna work out in perfect and divine timing. Like, you're not trying to hold on. You're not trying to control this. You're just trying to let things go with the flow. And you feel like divine has your back. You feel like, something is happening exactly as it's supposed to, okay? So whether you're with anybody or not, right? Yeah, free yourself, exactly. You're freeing yourself from codependent energies, from toxic energies, from the feeling of needing somebody or somebody needing you. Um, you know, you're working on yourself. Some of you have even kind of resolved to the fact that maybe you're not meant to be with somebody this lifetime. Some of you might feel like maybe, you know, you're kind of meant to be single and you're okay with that. It says time to take back control of your life and that's what you've been doing. Some of you might, and it's not like, I'm not getting like an energy of, I'm probably just gonna be single forever, right? Like I'm not getting that. I feel like the energy of, well, you know, maybe I will be single forever. And if I am, I guess it's worth waiting for. Maybe the great love of my life isn't showing up this lifetime. Maybe it's gonna happen in another life. I feel like some of you are seriously having this conversation with yourself. Like you're the unicorn, you're different, right? Of course, all the horses out there, they all have their mates, right? But you're the unicorn. There's not very many other unicorns like you. So of course, they're, you're not just, you know, not running in packs around here. So you can't find yourself one. So maybe you're like, maybe there is nobody else like me. Maybe I'm just with my spiritual team or my ancestors or my family or friends. And that's just it. Like, I don't know. I'm getting that for some of you guys. It's like we're single as a Pringle over here. That is the energy I'm getting. Okay. I feel like maybe you, at one point you thought you met the one, like this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, it says. Perhaps you felt like you did meet the one at one point and you wanted to let go of control issues. So you allowed this person to like, you know, it's like if you love them, let them go. If they return, they are yours or whatever that saying goes like. I just feel like that's the energy here. Like you thought you met the one once upon a time and you let them free like a butterfly, right? <laughs> you release them like a dove back into whatever. And you've just been kind of working on yourself ever since. And Everything that's come towards you feels like it's been a dud or it hasn't worked out or it's just been some of the same and you're just like, you know, I have a, I have a galactic love in mind. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags, exactly. You're like, I have a galactic love in mind. I have something that's out otherworldly that's unique and different and isn't going to be found just anywhere on earth, right? I feel like the energy of like, you're very eccentric, you're very different, so 
you don't you're not sure if there's very many people like you out there to really match with some of you feel like you have a significant um, counterpart like a significant partner whether you're with this person or not whether you've met this person or not you do feel like there is uh, somebody but maybe you just feel like it's not gonna happen for whatever reason or maybe you feel like they're like on another planet I don't know that's weird energy but I'm kind of getting that for somebody like that you feel like your counterpart is on another planet or in some far off galaxy somewhere or just didn't incarnate or maybe on the other side of the world it feels like there's a feeling here of like not yearning for somebody at a distance but knowing there's somebody at a distance for you even if you know that you might not never see it this lifetime you it's like a soul it's like knowing on a soul level gemini is kind of what i'm getting here and you're paying attention to the red flags you're refusing to let yourself get tied down to something that's you know subpar <laughs> Is what you might feel yeah you're calling in your true soulmate like I said okay so you know because I'm kind of getting that energy here the codependent stuff and all that yeah perhaps there was this energy of like just meeting a lot of you know thought packets and male or female and it just feels like you were always you know maybe you felt like your relationship was always like up for community um you know what is it like the whole world knows about everything or something like that that's what it feels for somebody it feels like the whole world knows about your love life or knows about you know the relationships of your past a lot of people were involved or something it feels like a lot of secrets lies deceptive behavior um things cloaked or you know kept secret it feels like that okay like you've dealt with a lot of that with that red flag energy we were just looking at like maybe you feel like your ex was for the streets or you meet a lot of people that are for the streets. They're for everybody, right? <laughs> yeah, and I feel like that's what you want to do. Exactly. I told you that codependency was reminding me of this nine of pinnacles. Don't they? It looks exactly like that. I feel like you let a soulmate go or you have a certain idea or something within you that tells you there's something out there for you, even if you don't run across it anytime soon. And it feels like you're just focusing on yourself, focusing on your growth, your healing, Maybe, um, you know, lowering your stress levels, right? <laughs> yes, getting into some kind of meditation or yoga. I just feel like you're just doing you, Gemini, okay? Worth waiting for. What is this? You feel like when the right opportunity comes, when the right person comes, you'll be willing to take that leap. You'll be willing to walk away from your singlehood. You'll be willing to just step right into a commitment. <clears throat> that is for some of you. Excuse me. I get that energy like you're just you feel like when the right person comes along you'll be ready so <laughs> that hey that's what it is all right free yourself what is this for current energy for Gemini in love yeah you freed yourself from any kind of stress any kind of pain negative negativity people who would betray you backstab you cheat you know lie still all these things all these things that these people have done you know be codependent on you cause you to feel like you're not worthy and make you feel like you have to be codependent on them like there's been a lot okay i feel like gemini's love life as a general like as a collective has not been the most smoothest okay if you guys are anything like me your love life has been rocky okay rockier than the damn rocky mountains i know that much because uh, i was there just like what a couple years ago and they were rocky but i definitely feel like my relationships have been rocky <laughs> I'm just saying though but anyways I do get this energy though of that okay like you're freeing yourself from all that negativity that bullshit and any kind of third party stuff too because we did kind of see that you might feel like somebody's for the streets they treated you like an option well you chose yourself and as long as you choose yourself Gemini then nobody else can choose you I mean when you really think about it you've already chosen you okay so everybody else has to just kind of fall in line all right so that's what I'm getting for current energy if that resonates cool Cool. Okay, let's move this up a little bit and let's focus on what's coming your way in love because you are staying optimistic about love. You are willing to, you know, look. <laughs> the first card that freaking pops, true love, right? <laughs> in my Disney princess voice, okay? Um, yeah, pay attention to the red flags. I feel like you've been doing that. I feel like you're woke now. I feel like you feel... Like you're going into dating or you're going into relationships now way smarter than you were before. Like, I feel like you feel more level-headed now. I, I feel like, 
Gemini, I don't know why I'm getting this energy, but I feel like spirit's like, yeah, until you meet this person, until you jump into this. Once you do all this newfound, you know, independence and, you know, all this, I don't feel like it's going to go out the window, but I feel like you're going to be open for love when you meet the right one, when you meet true the true love of your life. It says this is a romance of a lifetime, okay? So what's coming towards you? The romance of a lifetime, Gemini. So there is some kind of romance coming your way, dating, but this feels like it's more than dating. This feels like you're going to meet somebody that's going to be very significant, like a soulmate, okay? This is somebody you can lean on to. How her back is to him and her eyes are kind of closed. The body language just makes me feel like she feels like she can trust him, okay? So you're going to meet somebody, male or female, that you feel like you can trust. This is going to feel like this is going to be a true partner in your life, okay? And I'm pretty sure, yeah, let go of control issues. I'm pretty sure this is uh, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. So I'm not sure, but they were like twin flames, I think. I don't know, guys. Everybody's my fucking true flame up in this bitch. But that's the energy I'm getting, though. Like, it's strong soulmates, okay? It says, let go of the control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I feel like that's what you want to do. You're really not trying to rush things because I feel like you've, you have reached a level of comfortableness with your singlehood. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like some of you were like, if I am going to be single for the rest of my life, I guess that's just what it is. Like you've come down to that conclusion within yourself. So when you reach that level of contentment within your own circumstance, within your own self, on your own, it's like you can take it or leave it. You don't want to have to take it or leave it. And I feel like you might meet somebody that makes you feel like you don't want to leave it, but you will if you have to, because you have standards now, right? So it's like before where love might have been the most important thing and not ending up alone might have been like the, not the most important thing, but it's definitely on your top five. It's like now it's like, well, I've become so comfortable with myself that it's like, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying I want to be alone for the rest of my life, but if it does happen, I'm content. That's the energy I'm getting here. There's this energy of letting go of the control, letting go of the fact that, you know, maybe this isn't the one, or maybe you're not going to meet somebody, or maybe you are. Like, you're just, it's just, it, whatever it's going to be is what it's going to be for a lot of you guys. So when you meet this new person, you're still going to have this energy within you of like, you know, I'm happy to be here in front of you, but if I have to go be by myself, I'm okay with that too. And I feel like you're this person, this partner, whoever this is. I'm sorry, guys. That was creepy, whatever that was. That was creepy. Anyways, I feel like this partner or this person, whoever this is, I feel like they're going to sense this too like within you, like they're going to sense like, okay, this person's okay with being alone. This person's okay with being, you know, on their own. They have cultivated that sense of inner peace, you know? And so this is going to make this person want to step up to the plate a little bit and be like, okay, well, I have to, you know, come with my A game. I can't just be treating this one like they're just anybody because they're not, you know, forgiving and learning for what's coming towards you. And for some of you guys, this don't even have nothing to do with this new person. You know, you've called in this soulmate because you've forgive, forgiven other people, yourself, for your past. You've learned from your past. You've turned the experience into wisdom when it comes to love. I don't feel like for some of you, I mean, maybe for a few of you, this could be somebody coming back from the past. And it's like, you know, you're forgiving and learning to, you know, love each other in a new way and create your own love language together and all that. Like, yes, for some of you, why not? Sure, it could be that. But I feel like for the majority of you, this is a new person. And this is somebody that's been, you know, you've, you've gotten yourself into alignment with because of the work that you've done right because of the fact that you've learned to forgive yourself and others and then learn from that and move forward and because of that I feel like that's why this true love is coming towards you that's why you've called in this soulmate okay a lot of you have released the past you've released your ex and you've put that that love story away for another day or just period okay um, I don't feel like a lot of Gemini's are out here hung up on somebody from the past I mean maybe right Look, reconciliation, and it came out in reverse, and I feel like it's that's the way it's got to stay, okay? That's the way it's got to stay for some of you guys. Now, for others of you, if this is like a reconciliation and you're open for this, okay. But I feel like for a, the majority, you're trying to find somebody who's ready, somebody who um, 
there's new energy with, there's nothing, no baggage from the past, no uncomfortableness. With that engagement, you want to take the next step, Gemini. Let's get some uh, clarifying cards. Tell us a little bit about this true love for Gemini that's coming towards them. Okay, this is a lot of energy, but we're going to look at it and then we're going to pull again. So strength energy, this could definitely be a Leo or this, some of this could be happening in Leo season. We have the seven of pentacles, the world. I feel like you're going to be, again, putting stuff behind you, but this, your soulmate could be mirroring you, whoever this is. They could be busy at work, you know, focused on building their own foundations, closing out cycles within their own life, learning life lessons and growing stronger within their own self when they meet you. This person could be in a period of rest. I feel like this person is mirroring you in that. They've probably been single for a while as well. This person could be a Taurus with the Hierophant energy. Or you, this could be significant for Taurus season, right? Eight of Wands, true love, okay? This person is going to be possibly a fire sign, but doesn't have to be. This person is going to come in very quickly. I feel like with the Ten of, you know what, maybe not quickly, but just like impactfully. Like this person is going to make an impact when they come in. All of a sudden, they're going to come in and it's like a whirlwind. Because they were giving me this energy when I first pulled this card of like, you're going to feel like overwhelmed and oh my god and back into that energy of like you know you were just so comfortable on your own and now you're like love like that's the energy i'm getting here this person is going to come in and kind of turn everything upside down in the best possible way this person is going to be you know here for you so they're not going to be doing this in everybody else's life as well right like this is something special for you this person's coming in but they are making an impact in your life and this Eight of Wands is traditionally in tarot. Cupid's arrow is flying at you from a distance. So this person could be coming in from a distance, traveling right now. They could be moving to your city or state or whatever. Leo energy again. Leo is strong up in here, okay? So this could definitely be a Leo coming towards you. Or maybe you have Leo heavy in your chart. We do pick up on that energy a lot. All right, so give me more about this true love coming towards Gemini, right? We have the three of wands. This person is definitely coming in from a distance and this is definitely somebody that you've manifested. Six of pentacles, you can meet this person while you're out and about. This person could be working with you. For some reason, they're showing me the sign of Capricorn. For some of you guys, you could work with this person or collab with this person or just meet this person through work. Maybe you don't work with them, but they work with, I don't know, like a, you know, like a connecting company or a sister company or something like that and you meet them at a function you could meet them out in your everyday life or something like that or while you're performing a task or charity or something that's the energy that i'm getting here okay this person is definitely going to be a soulmate this is going to be somebody you're going to feel very connected to can we get a signifier for this person the soulmate can we get a signifier for the soulmate for gemini we have the seven of pentacles this is a student of life, okay, with the four of wands coming out. This is a student of life. This is somebody who likes to dedicate themselves to something and then they stick to it. This is like an honest, dependable kind of energy for me. They're, you know, spirit is being very vague about this person's sign and their gender and their position. I feel like it's so, there's so many people that watch this that it's like, it could be anybody and we could spend hours talking about all the different possibilities just know you can trust this person you can depend on this person this person is going to come with some kind of contract eventually towards you this is like a spiritual contract they're going to come in turn everything upside down but you manifested this and this person could be at a distance right now like live at a distance and they're traveling towards you i'm getting that very strongly for some of you guys okay letting go of the control issues for what's coming towards gemini because y'all are letting go of that. Yes, that energy of feeling like you're lacking or feeling like, oh my God, the pick me energy. If this person doesn't choose me, I'll just die, right? Like, you know, the, oh my God, what if I end up alone? What if I'm 36 and I'm not married? For me, that's done past. <laughs> I've never been married, right? And I'm 36. It is what it is. It happens sometimes. I don't know what to say. It just happened like that. It wasn't for lack of trying. That's for damn sure. I mean, you know... <laughs> I've, I have plenty of exes, right? It just never happened. But I feel like you got past that. Like, oh, well, there's worse things. I could be a bigot, right? <laughs> I could be a serial killer. You know, I could be a freaking narcissist. There's a lot of other things I could be that are horrible and worse than single. So it just is what it is, right? I feel like you've let go of that. And that's what's, you know, you're not needy for this person. <laughs> I'm feeling that very strongly, Gemini. Like, yes, with the hermit energy, you might have a hard time coming out of your shell. 
for some of you guys because and it's not that you're it's just because you're so comfortable there right like that's the energy I'm getting here like you let go of this control or need to control relationships in the future I feel like you're ready to start something new and you're ready to take it slow or well not take it slow with that page of wands but let it be new for a second and not rush it right Forgiving and learning. What is this for Gemini for what's coming towards them in love? Forgiving and learning. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, there was this energy of like people who, they came at you with not that great intentions. Like this is somebody who is easy. This is like here and there, you know, coming and going. This is not solid. This is not somebody who's going to stick around. A lot of one night stands, right? You had to end that kind of energy, Scorpio energy within your life, okay? You want somebody who's sturdy, dependable, stable. Like, I'm not seeing kings and queens, but I feel like that's because that's not where you want to take it. You want things to go slow, to progress slow. You don't want to rush things. You don't want to be one of them relationships where you're married within a year or you're pregnant within a, a month or two. Okay? We've all been there, right? Just me? Okay. Uh, I feel like you're done with that. Like, no. Slow and steady is what wins the freaking race here. I want a slow burn. I want to take my time. I want to get to know you, right? I get, want to get to know every part of you, okay? I'm going to take my time. This, you know that comes from a toxic place. You know that comes from some kind of abandonment issue or codependent behavior from your past, from your childhood traumas that you're working through. You're okay with a knight. You're okay with a page because that's where you want to take it. I feel like if you were ready for a king or a queen or emperor or empress that you would, or you're ready to lock it down with, that's what would show up in this energy. I feel like you want somebody who's committed, st stable, and trustworthy with this page of pentacles, but still there's room to grow here. That's just what I'm getting. Okay. And that's what's coming towards you. I feel like with the forgiving and learning for some of you guys. Now, for others of you, there is somebody that's coming around that wants to have, you know, this conversation with you about awkwardness in the past. I feel like you want to move forward from that with the Six of Swords, okay? Some of you guys might be doing some online dating too. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Like online dating <clears throat> for some of you. Yeah, look, I told you, knights, knights and pages, that's what you want. You're willing for this to turn into something bigger in the future, with this king of wands on the bottom of the deck like this this knight of pentacles is bringing that king of wands energy like he has it within him i know it i can see it right there's the, lots of potential there but he this person is willing to work at your pace or go at your pace like if you don't want to rush they don't want to rush either because this person sees that you're the bag you're the prize and they don't want to lose you so if you want to take you know take it slow then they're chill as long as they're with you is what it feels like all right, guys, that has been your reading. Yes, and I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.